There's a brand new tool that Zoom just came out with called Zoom Assistant, and it'll change your life. Well, maybe not drastically, but maybe a little bit. So let's have a conversation. Really, it's uh, it's not going to be a super edited video. I don't have time. <laughs> I'm getting ready for Zoomtopia. Oh, by the way, if you're going to Zoomtopia, I will be there. I have three sessions that I'm speaking at. I have one full roundtable I'm hosting. Uh, I'm doing some interviews on Work Transformation Summit. Uh, I think I'm doing some uh, new a new video series uh, interviews and some, some behind the scenes stuff. And that's on, on top of all the customer meetings that I'm going to be part of. So if you can find me at Zoomtopia, you better stop me fast because I'll be walking somewhere else uh, in between meals and in between maybe a cocktail or two if you see me at the bar. would really appreciate you buying me a drink. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, no, seriously. Uh, it all comes down. What was the topic today? I t uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Zoom phone assistant. It's a brand new, uh, when I say brand new, that's probably not brand new. It's probably been out for a couple of months, but it's brand new to me because I just started using it. And it's really changed the way I do my work. And what I'm talking about is application affinity or the ability to stay in one application as long as possible without ever having to leave that application to do other work. I.e., here's an example. I'm inside of Microsoft Excel. Say I'm doing some numbers nerd stuff and I want to make a phone call. My old workflow is this. I have to leave Excel. I have to go to a phone application, preferably Zoom phone. I then have to type in the number or search for the contact and then make the phone call. All the while, I'm out of Excel, out of that learning center, out of that ability to collaborate, out of the ability to do my work because I'm doing work in Excel. What if we could change that? What if Zoom phone assistant can change that? It can and here's how. Okay, so here's my desktop. Here's my desktop <laughs> and, and let's go through a, just a normal workflow. We just talked about, Hey, being in Excel, doing a bunch of numbers, nerd stuff. Let's just launch Excel and then let's make a phone call as one example. Okay. So here's, here's just a, a, a fake uh, template I just pulled up in Excel, but it gives you the point I'm in Excel. I'm figuring out my mortgage for the, for the, my, my new home purchase, for example, or I'm a, a mortgage broker and I'm inside of, of Excel doing all these numbers and interest rates, blah, blah, blah. You get the point, but now I want to make a phone call or even receive a phone call. What do I do to have to do that? I literally have to get out of Excel, right? I have to literally get out of Excel. I have to minimize this somehow, move this screen over, and then I have to go to Zoom. I have to then go to the here. I have to go to phone, and then I have to make a phone call from here. Doable, and that's the way we've always done it, but what if there's an easier way? There is. Let's go back to my example. Full screen. Look at the left side of my screen. You're gonna see a little bit of a widget sticking out. Look at this. That's Zoom Phone Assistant. I can now make and make phone calls right from Zoom Phone Assistant. I can search for contacts right from Zoom Phone Assistant. And I never left the application. I've never left Excel to do this. For example, let's make a phone call. Boom. Let's call. I'm going to blur this out so you can't call my phone number. But you know what? Don't even care if you do. I'm now making a phone call. Inside of Excel, I haven't left Excel. Look what's happening. I'm getting a phone call on my cell phone. I'm gonna slide the insert. I'm gonna hit it on mute so you don't hear me echoing. And now I'm still inside of Excel doing number stuff. Blah, 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 numbers nerd stuff. Look what hasn't moved. The Zoom phone assistant hasn't left my screen. And by the way, I can move it anywhere I want. What if I wanna move it over there where there's no Excel spreadsheet stuff? And now I can make this phone call inside of Excel. We could talk about these numbers. Notice I haven't left Excel. Have you got that point? What if I wanna record this call? You're like, hey, for compliance reasons, I gotta record this call. This call is being recorded. Record call. Haven't left Excel. What if I'm like, hey, I need to go over to another machine and do some other stuff, like pick up a, a printout of the document, but I'm gonna go to another computer and pick up it from another phone. I can park this call, now go to the other computer and pick it up over there. Another workflow example. What if we now need to transfer this call to, to the real estate agent? I can now type in the real estate agent's name here and I can now transfer this call to someone else. Noticed I haven't left Excel. What if you're like, hey, I just need to go get a, a beverage real quick because this is taking me a long time and I'm really tired of talking. I'm gonna put you on hold, call hold. The whole point is I can now make calls, I can receive calls, I can do advanced functionality inside of the Zoom phone assistant, allowing users to increase application affinity. Now this is just one workflow, make up your own. What if you're in Salesforce or Dynamics 365, you're making a bunch of entries in for, for your CRM application and you wanna
make a phone call with the Zoom phone assistant, you can do that too. And not only just make a phone call, receive a phone call, but all that advanced functionality. Put this in Word, put this in PowerPoint. It doesn't matter. Zoom phone assistant now allows you to have application affinity with any application. Google, Microsoft, it works for everything. So you saw me make an E164 phone number call by just typing in the numbers, but we can also search by contacts as well. Right here, search by name. Let's call Patrick again. Here's another example. I don't have to know his phone number to make a phone call. I just have to know his name. And all this is pulled in from the actual Zoom phone client. Something else I can do is I can actually change my presence inside of the Zoom Assistant. Say this is a really complicated spreadsheet and I don't want anybody bugging me. Guess what? Can put it on Do Not Disturb. Haven't left Excel yet. So now I'm on Do Not Disturb for the next hour so I can get this work done. Now the user has the ability to leave this phone assistant up at all times, or they can hide it just like I did before. Let's just drag it to the left. I want to start working on my document with all the real estate. I can do that as well. I can also check call history as well as voicemail. Check this out. Now it's taking me to my voicemail of my Zoom client. I can also check the call history of my, my Zoom client. All those things available from the Zoom phone assistant. Now you're saying to yourself, Patrick, that's awesome, but how do I turn it on? Here's how. So first thing I always do is just make sure I'm on the latest update of the, the Zoom client itself. So I go to here, my, my profile picture, and I go to check updates. As of today, I am on the latest. It's 5.15.11. You don't need that for Zoom Phone Assistant, but I always just like to have on the latest and greatest. Now let's go to settings, this little gear doohickey right here. Yes, I just used the word doohickey. I'm gonna go to general, and then I'm gonna go all the way down here to the middle of my screen where it says Zoom Assistant. And you can see right here, the Zoom Assistant for phone will provide access to search and speed dials. Owners of PowerPack license will have additional capabilities added to their Zoom Phone Assistant experience. I don't have the PowerPack license in this demo. I'm just a regular Zoom Phone user. Once I've checked off that box, I now have full access to the Zoom Phone Assistant. I can even move it wherever I want. It increases, again, the application affinity of your Zoom client, allowing less context switching for the individual user experience. Now think about that too. Now when I'm inside of an application, I don't have to leave the application to utilize the power of Zoom phone. Super impressive stuff from Zoom, as always. By the way, I do work for Zoom as a distinguished architect. I'm not a spokesman or a figurehead for Zoom. I just like to talk about cool technology, and a lot of times that has to deal with Zoom. If you like this video, follow me on LinkedIn, or better yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.